After thorough testing of our drivetrain, we decided to go with an elevated four-wheel drive system. This consists of four Andy Mark Never Rest 40 motors, as well as four-inch Andy Mark Stealth wheels at, running at a one-to-one -one ratio. We also moved the two wheels closer together so that we don't get stuck on the first two bars on the mount. We have a Rev and Tetrix system for our four bar. We decided to go with the four bar because it opened up the drivetrain to allow us to have our robot lifter in the center and still be able to have a lift to manipulate the balls and cubes on the outside. For our end effector, we have a rev robotic structure supporting an Andy Mark Never S20 motor. This is spinning a roller that has latex tubing on it. Underneath that is a Lexan scoop, which can angle from side to side with using a servo and a Rev Robotics metal servo arm to facilitate that movement. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out how to connect this to the gear that we will have here. Um, this way we can power our collection method as well as not lock anything from exit. The way it's going to work is it's going to be coming off the sides here, so it's okay to have this over the top. Nice and discreet, good job. <laughs> what? So, Cut, cut yeah. in the line and fold in the folder. For the lifting mechanism, we use Rev Robotics Extrusion and the new linear slides. This whole system is sprung in the extended position with latex tubing and it's held back by a winch and cable that's powered by two NeverRest 60 motors. By letting the winch and the cable out, we then extend the arm, hooking on and pulling ourselves up. So I'm working on a hook to grab onto this bar for when we uh, decide to pull our robot up for the end game. And our goal is to have it here grab onto here make sure for sure it can grab onto this portion of the bar, but possibly be able to grab onto over the uh, all clear bar as well. And we're basing our design off carabiner. So the idea is that it will lock on and then stay on so that way we don't have to worry about it slipping or falling if it swings. So we're essentially making a giant carabiner. It currently is not spring loaded. We're working on that right now. All right, so basically what we're, do, what we're working on right now is a couple different things. We have a couple different things people working. Uh, this back here is going to be the winch system. And right now we had it mounted back here and we had it this long. We realized that this made us really top heavy. So what we did was we created a smaller version of it and we rearranged the motors. Uh, the motors were mounted up high. Turn around really quick. Uh, they were mounted up high, but now we've mounted them down lower and we're using smaller shafts. So that way it's now going to be mounted back here. <laughs> 